Chapter Torah, Night Prayers and the Number of Raka Offered by the Prophet, peace be upon him, at night, and that witr is one raka, and a one raka prayer is correct. It was narrated from Aisha that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, used to pray eleven raka at night, and he would make them an odd number with one raka. When he had finished, he would lie down on his right side until the Mu'adhin came to him, then he would pray two brief raka. It was narrated that Aisha, the wife of the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, between finishing the Isha prayer, which the people call al atamah and dawn, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, would pray eleven raka, saying the tasneem between every two raka, and making them an odd number with one raka. When the Mu'adhin fell silent following the call to Fajr prayer, he could see the dawn, and the Mu'adhin came to him. He would pray two brief raka, then lie down on his right side, until the Mu'adhin came to him for the Iqama. It was narrated from Ibn Shihab with this chain, and Harmala quoted a similar hadith as hadith number 1718, except that he did not mention when he could see the dawn and the Mu'adhin came to him, and he did not mention the Iqama. The rest of the hadith is like the hadith of Amr. It was narrated that Aisha said, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, used to pray 13 raka'ah at night, five of which were witr, and he did not sit at all except at the end. It was narrated from Hisham with this chain, a similar hadith as hadith number 1720. It was narrated from Urwa that Aisha told him that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, used to pray 13 raka'ah, including the two raka'ah of Fajr. It was narrated from Abu Salama bin Abdurrahman that he asked Aisha, How did the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, pray during Ramadan? She said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, did not pray more in Ramadan or at any other time than eleven raka'ah. He would pray four, and do not ask how beautiful and long they were. Then he would pray four, and do not ask how beautiful and long they were. Then he would pray three. Aisha said, I said, O Messenger of Allah, do you sleep before you pray witr? He said, O Aisha, my eyes sleep, but my heart does not sleep. It was narrated that Abu Salama said, I asked Aisha about the prayer of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him. And she said, He used to pray thirteen raka'ah. He would pray eight raka'ah, then he would pray witr, then he would pray two raka'ah while sitting. When he wanted to bow, he would stand up, then bow. Then he prayed two rakah between the call to prayer and the qama for Fajr prayer. Abu Salama narrated that he asked Aisha about the prayer of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, a similar report as hadith number 1724, but with a different chain of narrators, except in their hadith it said, nine rakah standing, including witr. Abu Salama said, I came to Aisha and said, O my mother, Tell me about the prayer of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him. She said, He used to pray during Ramadan and at other times, 13 raka'ah at night, including the two raka'ah of Fajr. Aisha said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, used to pray 10 raka'ah at night, and he would pray 1 raka'ah for Witr and 2 raka'ah for Fajr, and that was 13 raka'ah. It was narrated that Abu Ishaq said, I asked Al Aswad bin Yazid, what Aisha had told him about the prayer of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him. She said, He used to sleep for the first part of the night and stay up for the latter part. Then, if he had any need for intimacy from his wife, he would satisfy that need. Then he would go to sleep. Then the first call came. She said, He leapt up, and by Allah, she did not say he got up and poured water over himself, and by Allah, she did not say he performed ghusl. And I know what she meant. If he was not junub, he would perform wudu as a man does for prayer. Then he prayed the two raka'ah. It was narrated that Aisha said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, used to pray at night until the last of his prayer was witr. It was narrated that Masruq said, I asked Aisha about the actions of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him. She said, He loved that which was done consistently. I said, when did he pray? She said, 
When the rooster crowed, he would get up and pray. It was narrated that Aisha said, I never found the messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, in my house before dawn, but he was sleeping. It was narrated that Aisha said, When the Prophet, peace be upon him, had prayed the two raka'ah of Fajr, if I was awake, he would talk to me, otherwise he would lie down. A similar report as hadith number 1732 was narrated from Aisha, from the Prophet, peace be upon him. It was narrated that Aisha said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, used to pray at night. And when he had prayed with her, he said, Get up and pray with her, O Aisha. It was narrated from Aisha that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, used to pray at night while she was lying in front of him. And when only with her was left, he would wake her up and she would pray with her. It was narrated that Aisha said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, prayed with her at all times of the night, and towards the end of his life, his witter ended just before dawn. It was narrated that Aisha said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, prayed with her at all times of the night, at the beginning of the night, in the middle of the night, and at the end, and towards the end of his life, his witter ended just before dawn. It was narrated that Aisha said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, prayed with her at all times of the night, and towards the end of his life, his witter ended at the end of the night.